Thank you for joining me today for yoga therapy. This is a safe space to experience your emotions. As we go through our practice today, notice your emotions, but try to continue to focus on subtle movements and breathing throughout the practice. But breathing is so important in yoga, but also just in general um, life. A lot of times we breathe very shallow, and when we don't take full breaths, we don't send oxygen fully throughout our body. Uh, full breaths can help reduce your blood pressure and your heart rate and relax you just in a matter of like three breaths. Remember, deep stretching and discomfort are typically normal in yoga, but this is a gentle class. So we're going to be relaxed and restorative. I encourage you to listen to your body and not press past your limits. My prayer for you today is positive energy, enveloping each of you with love and allowing you to feel at peace as we complete our yoga session today. Even though our life is stressful, I find calming peace. So that's going to be our mantra for our first exercise. Has anyone ever tried tapping? Okay, a couple people. It's a calming and anxiety relief um, exercise. So um, we are going to use our fingertips. And as we do these in different areas of our body, we are going to use that mantra, even though our life is stressful, I find calming peace. So we're going to start at the top of our eyebrows, gently tapping to your comfort level. Even though our life is stressful, I find calming peace. All right, moving down to the side of our eye and around our eye. Even though our life is stressful, I find calming peace. All right, moving under the eye. Even though our life is stressful, I find calming peace. Under your nose, you can use one hand. Even though our life is stressful, I find calming peace. On your chin, just under your bottom lip. Even though our life is stressful, I find calming peace. Moving down to our collarbone, both hands now. Even though our life is stressful, I find calming peace. Under your arms, cross one arm under each armpit. Even though our life is stressful, I find calming peace. All right, on the top of your head. Even though our life is stressful, I find calming peace. You can use this technique at any time. People might look at you funny if you do it in public, <laughs> but it's certainly an easy technique to relax yourself and release. All right, so now we're gonna do a little bit more SMR work on our face and neck. So we're going to use our fingertips starting on our forehead, nice gentle circles. This is also anti-aging ladies. It stimulates collagen in your face, release fine lines and wrinkles. Moving to the temples. The pressure that you use is individualized, so use what's comfortable for you. Now down around the eye socket and the cheekbone. Moving back to the side of where our jaw connects. Work your way down the jawline. This will also relieve tight muscles that gives us that RBF. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> All right. Resting bitch face. <laughs> I call it RBF be gone, but it also helps improve and relax. 
relax your muscles so that you don't have tension in your jaw. Does anyone clench their jaw or wear a mouth guard at night? Mm -hmm. Moving down around your neck. Did you know school teachers are number one uh, occupation for wearing mouth guards? <laughs> because they grind their teeth and get TMJ. True story. This is stressed. I need to take it. So on your, on your uh, shoulders, you can kind of squeeze if you feel like that works better for you. And switch to the other side. All right, the next stretch, we're going to look to one side. Center, other side, center, switch, look down, look up, center. Drop your head to one side. Now, there's a lot of space here, so you don't try to bring your shoulder up to your ear. That's not the idea. You want to just kind of tilt it, and then if you want to add a little bit of pressure, just gently put your hand on your head. You don't have to pull. You should just feel that weight gives you a better stretch right through here. Remember those nice deep breaths, ladies. Breathing all the way down below your belly button and your pelvic floor. Expanding your rib cage. Full exhale. Okay, center. Let's go to the other side. If you want to put your hand or just a little bit of added stretch and release. So we want to focus on relieving the anxiety in your tense muscles. When your muscles are tense, they become painful, tired, or cramped as a result of stress or anxiety. So now I'm going to act, I'm going to challenge you. Now that we release our face and neck to do a little bit of facial exercise, and you might feel silly, and that's okay. So uh, no one's looking at you. Uh, <laughs> don't look at your friends. All right, so we're gonna do chipmunk cheeks, fishy face, chipmunk cheeks, fishy face. A little bit faster. <laughs> See how fast you can go. And relax. All right, now, because we've also released everything in our face, you all are cancer warriors. So we're going to emphasize the word warrior. Warrior. Say it out loud with me. Warrior. 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 Some SMR for our upper back and shoulders. 
This is an option that you can get on the floor or you can do this up along the wall. So I'm gonna demonstrate the wall option. You're gonna place your spine in the back, in the center of your roller. Place it up along the wall. You can put your hands, if you have a ponytail like me or a hair piece, make sure you pull it up so you don't pull it off. Roll down and up, okay? Option on the floor, it looks the same. Your spine is in the center of your roller. Same thing if you have a hoodie, make sure you have your hood up. Supporting your head and your arms. All right, do a, a couple passes so that you can go to the wall or on the floor for this. And then you can come back to your seat. Actually, we're gonna do a wall stretch after this. So after you do your um, release, we're going to stand at the wall, so you want to find a wall space. You can adjust the roller if it's up if you're not doing it such a big squat. Just do little adjustment and then adjust the roller to a higher position. I hear lots of groaning. Make sure you go up and hold it. You might not have to move. Yes. We're going to have our arm up at a high angle, and we're going to stretch, and then we'll do it at 90 degrees, and then down low. So you're going to put your hand on the wall, and just gently twist away from the wall. You don't need to move very much to get that good stretch. You should feel it in your upper chest and a little bit in your armpit. Do it to your comfort level. I can't twist. Yeah. And then 90 degrees. Light rotation away from the wall. I can't. And then the lower angle. I can't. And then I'm not about. And then we want to repeat that on the other side. High angle. Slight rotation to get that stretch. Ninety degrees. Gentle shoulder circles to the front. And then reverse to the back. Now let your shoulders become limp as you just relax and increase the distance between your shoulders and your ears. Big inhale up. Raising your arms up. Hands come down behind your ears, opening up that chest. 
Pull those elbows towards the wall behind you. Twist, lengthening the spine. Back to center. Big inhale. Exhale. Rotate and twist to the other side. And relax your arms to your side. In life, there will be times when it's hard to remain calm, but instead of worrying and dwelling on the problem, it's crucial that we get away from all of the noise around us and all of the noise in our body and find a quiet place to find peace. So as we sit here, if you need to adjust your sits bones so you're evenly in your chair, try to stack your vertebrae one on top of the other, lengthening your spine like you have a string coming up from your head, making you a little bit taller in the chair. Try not to lean back in the chair if you're able to, to sit up nice and tall. We're gonna inhale, calm. Exhale, stress. Inhale, calm. Exhale, stress. Keep breathing, nice, big, deep breaths. We wanna breathe all the way down to our pelvic floor. We wanna expand the rib cage. We wanna feel our chest rise as we inhale. And as we exhale, we wanna feel everything come back. Inhale, peace. Exhale, anxiety. Inhale, peace. Exhale, anxiety. Calm, peace, calm, peace. Big inhale up, reaching your arms up. Reach your arms forward like you're giving me a package, a gift. Now if you'd like to come down, reach your arms down towards your feet. Allow your head to drop, seated forward fold. One deep breath here, inhale, exhale. It's important to provide your body, your mind, and your soul with rest. What happens when you take some full deep breaths and meditate on peace here? Let's do that again if you come up. Exhale, forward fold. Meditate on peace. Nice deep breaths.
a good spinal mobility. Now, think about your feet for balance. Spreading your toes on the mat. Even balance in your heels and the balls of your feet. Roll it up. Coming back to a plank on our chair or in a standing position, bird dog crunch. We're gonna reach our arm up, opposite leg, tap, reach. We're alternating. Just a little bit of balance. You can face your chair as you need for balance and have one hand on the chair. Let the tap, reach. Tap, one more time on each side. All right, big inhale up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, hands at your thighs, nice flat back. Step into a plank. The further away your feet are from your chair, the more core work that we're going to do. Step to the outside of your chair in a runner's lunge. All right, rotate to the side and reach your arm up. Towards your knee. Good. Back to the face your chair. Step back in your plank, other side. Foot to the outside. Rotate and reach. Feeling that good stretch? Stepping back. Feet are about shoulder distance apart here. Reach your arms forward into the chair. Sink your bottom down. If you're getting tired, you can do this right on the chair. Practice your good posture right here as well. Lots of options. All right, stepping so your feet are staggered, staggered position. So we're gonna push our butt to the back. Tilting your body forward, nice flat back. Inhale, peace. Exhale, tension. Inhale, peace. Exhale, tension. One more. Inhale, peace. Exhale, tension. Are you feeling that in the back of your legs? Yes? Switch sides. Feet are staggered stance. Push that booty back. Tipping at the hip. Nice, long spine. Like you have that string coming out of your head. Inhale, peace. Exhale, tension. Inhale, peace. Exhale, tension. Inhale, peace. Exhale, tension. Rotate to the side here. So one foot is perpendicular and the other one is facing the opposite direction. If you need your chair for support, we can do this on the chair like so. All right, that's your, your uh, seated option. All right, bend the front leg, lean forward just a little bit, inhale up, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale, beautiful job. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's switch legs. So you're gonna face the other direction now. Feet are perpendicular. Arms out, open that chest. Inhale, and exhale, bend that front leg. Inhale, exhale. Nice deep breaths. All the way down your pelvic floor. Engage your core. Nice long line through the spine, reaching up towards the sky. and step it in. We're gonna do a balanced posture here. If you have neuropathy in your feet, then you're going to do a, a chair option, because we don't want you to fall over. If you feel like you're secure on one foot, you can kick stand here. We're also gonna have the option on the calf or on the thigh. Chair option. Now, if you're doing this at home, you can also add a ball under this foot for back for um, a 
balance challenge. So you can just do it like this. Seated, okay? All right, so behind your chair, you're gonna step to the side, side lunge, and then you're gonna tap down and choose your tree. Whether you're kick standing, you're on your thigh, not on your knee, above the knee. If you can let go of your chair, try to let go of your chair. Your choice. You don't have to go high. I'm sure you're Lots of options. So you keep standing on your toes, you're on your calf, or you're up on your thigh. So you can hold onto your chair for safety, or you can try to lift up off your chair. You can put your hands in prayer. You can reach up. You can wave those branches all shaky. <laughs> moving a lot, they're probably tight, <laughs> and so you would need to do some more releases, but the deep breaths are really important. Now let's put one hand on our chest, we can put the other one on our belly. Breathe in deeply all the way down to your thoracopelvic cylinder, all the way up to your chest, exhale. Ooh, that's good. Let's do that again. Keep breathing. If you have thoughts or feelings that come to mind, recognize them, then let them go. Just listening to my voice 
and just relax in. Do not be anxious about anything. Focus on your breath and listen. Listen to my voice and breathe. Feel your body relaxing deeper and deeper and allow your mind to just slow down. As we breathe, say to yourself, I will have inner calm. I have the strength to get through this stress in my life. I can get through challenging times. When I'm feeling overwhelmed, I can take deep breaths to be calm. Put your hands over your heart center and feel your heart. Breathe into that space. With deep breaths, you can ease the fear in our hearts and the anxiety in our minds. With every exhale you take, leave another stress. Fill yourself with each inhale with joy and hope and peace. Exhale worry. Inhale love. Exhale anxiety. Inhale joy. Exhale stress. Inhale peace. Relax your hands. This is where you can come into child's pose if you'd like to get down on the floor. Otherwise, you can just be in a relaxed position in your chair or folded over your legs. So if you're coming down to the floor, I want you to push your uh, butt cheeks onto your heels, reaching your arms forward in a good stretch. Chair option. We can reach forward in front of our feet like we're trying to reach for something and we don't want to get out of the chair. I invite you to spend some time here noticing how your deep breaths expand your belly, your ribs, and chest. How long and slow can you make your exhale? Do you notice a change in how you feel when you breathe deeply? We're gonna add a shoulder stretch. So if you're seated in a chair, bring your arm over your legs and you're gonna reach forward with the other hand. If you're on the floor, you're gonna do the same thing, reaching your arm across the mat and then the other one forward. So you're gonna feel a good stretch across the shoulder here. Again, I invite you to focus on breathing. Calm breathing is key to being calm and relaxed. Let's take three deep breaths here. Let's switch sides. Take your arm, that was reach forward and cross it over your thigh or across the mat, reach your other arm forward. Continue with even breathing and calm thoughts. Three deep breaths here. I invite you to share in this calming affirmation. I am strong and can do anything in the world. I am strong and can do anything in the world. If you're on the mat, I'm gonna invite you to be in our final resting form. We have a couple options here, so I'm gonna to talk to you about those. If you're not getting down on the floor, you can relax now in a seated posture with your uh, back on the back of the chair. We have a couple other options. If you're able to get down on the floor, this is really good for your circulation. 
It's a good stress reliever. It helps with varicose veins and prepares you for sleep. Put your feet on the chair like so, or you can take your mat over to the wall. And put your legs up on the wall, either straight or bent legged. <laughs> Lots of options. Now, if you're on the on the floor, go ahead and place the um, your towel with your scent over your eyes. If you'd like to put your hands for a little bit of an added pressure on there, if you're seated. If you're seated in the chair and you want to use your towel, you can hold your arms up or just rest it on your head. May I ask where the towels are? They were in the um, basket and there's oils. You've got the chicken oil to put on. So we're only going to be in this position for a short period of time. So this rest, final resting form, especially legs up the wall, or if you have a, if you could do this actually in your bed, up against your headboard before you go to bed, is a really good preparation for sleep, and you could do it for up to 15 minutes. We're not going to be here for 15 minutes. <laughs> Your entire body is now relaxed and calm. Feel the relaxation flowing throughout your body from your head to your feet. With every breath, you feel more and more relaxed. Your toes are relaxed. Notice your ankles, your calves, Releasing any tension you're still holding. Your abdomen and hips. Lower back, fully relaxed. Mid back and upper back. Releasing any tension that you still have from today. Shoulders and chest, releasing the tension you have in your neck, fully relaxed, the crown of your head, moving up to your forehead, releasing the tension, notice your eyebrows, Relax your eyelids, cheekbones and jaw. Relax your lips. Noticing your arms, biceps and forearm. Your hands, each one of your fingertips. Fully relaxed. Relaxing your breath. Melting into your chair or your mat on the floor. As you slowly become alert, keep with you the feeling of calm, peace, and relaxation. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Shrug your shoulders, lifting them up and down very gently. If you'd like to reach your arms up, stretch if you want to. Bring your hands down to your heart. When you're ready, you can remove your washcloth and open your eyes for 
returning to full wakefulness, feeling alert and refreshed. If you're on the ground when you're ready, lay to one side and press up to be seated. Thank you everyone for joining me for tonight's yoga session. I hope you feel relaxed and ready for bed <laughs> and ready to face all of the fun and exciting things tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.